Hey guys, Ariel over here. This video is from a couple weeks ago. It is not fresh snow today, though there is forecast uh, for snow in the mountains. Um, but this was a week or so ago when I was up in Yellowstone. These were two of the very first bison calves I saw born this spring, um, appearing here in this video. That one that you're looking at right now seemed very, very newborn, like maybe only born earlier that day. It wasn't quite as active as the first one pictured there. Um, but they were both nursing. This is a late spring snowstorm. It had been green in this area before that. These little guys were probably wishing they just stayed inside a little longer and waited for this weather to go away. But they both seemed to be doing okay. The moms were busy looking after them and trying to uh, munch enough food out from under the snow to be able to provide plenty of milk for them. They were fun to watch as they wobble around. Bison calves are some of the cutest little things ever, I think. Though they very, very rapidly turn into big looking bison. It's amazing how quickly they grow. But I thought you guys might enjoy watching this. And then toward the end of the video, there's a bigger herd, which I did not see any new calves with. Um, but they were also grazing in the snow and pawing through it and kind of migrating across a field here. There's a few sandhill cranes in that video as well. Bison do generally stick together in groups, and they will even mourn the loss if uh, something happens to one of them. They will gather around and, and seem to hang out and try to help the injured or dead animal get going again, and when they can't, they seem to hang out and grieve for quite a while. So it's just interesting to watch the interactions of these critters with each other, even when they get things like blanketed by a brand a uh, new bunch of inches of snow when it seemed like it was finally spring. Hey folks, this is Ariel. I love capturing the natural beauty and wonderful wildlife I'm surrounded by and getting to share those moments with others. If you're interested in more of my work, click the circle to subscribe and to follow my photography or purchase photos, check out the links below. Thanks for watching.